Hello, followers, subscribers, watchers, whoever. This is Fire Master Lucky Black, and this is going to be a tutorial or demonstration, whatever you want to call it, of setting up render settings or for a basic snapshot or scene. First, I'm going to open up the scene. This is for practical class. If I can find it. Save settings here somewhere. Sweet. Sorry about that, I had to go away for a bit. Yeah, this would be a lot easier if I can get my USB drive to work for my freaking tablet. And use a free button mouse, miracle mouse, very into Peru and Bound Maya. Well, just move on angles, really. Or you can just have to zoom in. A lot of the keys have well, basically shortcuts, but well, that's not what this is about. Anyway, yeah. This is my uh, 2012 or 2012. So, setting a project or starting a new project would be different. It would be set up in a project window. Or this one I already had it set. That change folder, new, explore a different one. Lower one, set location, set for, and then new project would be what is called in the folder view. Actually, that would be in the folder. These would be in the folder event. That's my reference folder, my images. Not to be confused with images. Those were place these folders were a place images. This one is where renders go. I can show you that actually. Temp TMP temporary. It's a file format it uses that TG or Targa. And I'll show you how to find that. Choose the Fire Map Settings, which is a quick way to find this up here. Put in a file name, type it out there, and it'll show up here. And of course, the path is where I set it in the project window. Image format, which to use for this is Targa. What I'm talking about. Image size resolution is down a bit further. As you can see, I use mental ray. Easier to use. Now we have to use 720 by 46. Which is in two. This is actually a preset for what I've done. Under this one. Called CCIR601 slash, slash quanto. MTSC. On that case, has it. The other section come under would be quality. Click on both. Now we didn't have us mess with this much, but we should really increase the samples to at least two. So it's not yeah again much a problem with anti aliasing. And greediness. I got called away again. Alright, what was I? For filtering, I'm just using a basic gauze. Kind of gushing blur. Really didn't mess with the other settings. Top school. You just had a, a signal on that, but your shadows would be on. Not mess with motion blur. There's not really much we change in this. We gotta go to the settings. Find which setting. Yeah, there are certain settings though. 
Mistake. It was actually properties. It makes up a tool settings for that. Basically, how it, it is basically a settings of just how it called, how they called in, or for Apple. Since this is on MacBook Pro. And here's the basic set we can change for. Not really much a change, but because they were consequences. I look for is not that <laughs> the time slider that would be the one to alter in this case normally it would be set to free which is a problem because it just goes through it fast not how, and not how it would actually play out so, we put on real time each frame per second and have it on default 24 frames per second. Or, oh, I already had that. It was just for show. Why quit the new clip on there? And there's a time slider every two per. It goes by twos, but there it marks twos, but there's each second. I think it scrubs the report. With some effects, it won't show up properly, so I can play and stop. Anyway, that's fine now. Render view? Let's render. Render view. Show how to render, and it didn't work last time. Basic things on there to keep image. What they will say. Remove keep it in the second one. Pair, not a pair. Compare each snapshot. See the difference. So if you change certain lighting or change settings of it, the angle, you can see which would better the differences. Is that to render a region would you select? It'll just show that part instead of taking who knows how long to render it. Sometimes it could depend on computer speed. But probably we want the whole render once you decide. Since I already have it set for that project, I don't want to overwrite what it does, so I'm going to change that. You have to be sample. Keep it in a folder, check the render settings just to make sure you actually exit it from the render view. It's on the common tab. And it says file. Well, as long as it's on the right, but I gotta make sure. And this project reset. On that, it creates folders for me. The images that have anything, because I haven't even made snapshots. There's my icon in the window, you click in the window. Is that window doesn't actually go in the whole thing. You just click in there, or click the icon. This thing's looking fine, so. Close that, show you the highlight parts. It looks like it just about went through. It's got a fish seen in here. It's settings. Read this web render view. Close that. The way you got this. Can render view. Okay. First of all, I created and I created a camera. Go look through. 
which also has the settings using the telephoto photo link for that software I use. Like, don't really mess with the other ones. You can also get it through the outline. You can see the camera selected. Geometry that can be one to three or smooth change move has been put in itself. And I check the lights, such as this one, or the fun the attribute that you were to make shadows and that away. Use depth map shadows. Probably something to samples up for. Ray trace is really useful for this. It's really good for soft lighting. Had to turn the shadow rays up though. And there's another one that's not showing up here. Certain lights have only certain shading. Light shape is something good to use for an area light because they'll show the actual light. <laughs> it'll be blurred so much. See if I can find real soccer line red lights. I'd say I'll just tell them to filter the scene. Push this one. Which I don't know where it is. It's one of the ones that takes settings from higher mode. And the setting the sample can be altered. Or it'll turn out really green. You can head to the shadow laser data. Same thing, just area like the outline. Because it's based off of shape and it wasn't necessary for that. I wouldn't go crazy with that. Ah, shadow map over guys. Mental with shadow map over that's what's up about. That's probably something to use along with it. Now let's just scroll into that. Or if not scroll fast enough, then keep scrolling. Anyway, raise resolution up. Try for something based off of binary. Or basically, another memory size, I think, double. Sample is probably similar. Anyway, the way I got this, which is when it shows through my perspective, the camera, and look what guys that which did was definitely created a new bookmark. A uh, new bookmark named the Add to the Shelf. That's when I'm Look through and the camera settings. I use for resolution key and make sure to take, take the screenshot from that view with the saved it and move it around on the screen from a different view. That way, I have the entire shot. Now, let me see if show the render view. The really big render still is probably gonna to take a while to mess with my voice. Yeah, I'm sorry about the big project. I still plan on doing that. Or find another program to do that in. If I can get the title work in, throw time with the class work. You know, anything else. Alright, looks like he's just about done. And it would be in the pages folder. Right there. It's by Mr. Level 5. Thank you for watching this quick tutorial on assembling a render shop.